Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course today we are going to continue the classes of vertebrates that we have been looking into and today I'm going to talk about the reptiles, the class reptilia, okay? And of course you cannot say you do not know the reptiles. If you have heard about snakes before or you have seen one, okay, that's a reptile. Even the lizards, they are what? They are reptiles. The crocodiles, the turtles, okay, they are what? They are what? They are reptiles, all right? So, uh... We are going to look at the reptiles today and know that this tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jump app. After we are done with this class, we are going to take questions for the app. The app is designed to make you succeed in your exam. All right, we'll talk about the app later, but for now, I'm going to talk about what? The reptiles. All right, so uh, the reptiles, they are, they, 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 they are believed to be the first class of organisms to adapt to life on the land. They are the first class of organisms to adapt to life on the land. In fact, they were believed to have evolved from the amphibians several millions of years ago. Because a reptile, like for example, a snake, right, it can what live all its entire lifetime without even getting close to the water. Alright? And of course, you will now say, what makes this reptile or makes this snake? What gives the ability, the adaptation to live or what on what on the terrestrial or habitat for a long time, for such a long time, without we needing water. Because what they have was special what, structures that are de designed to help them survive even in very, very, very what ash what conditions. Alright? So the the reptiles, they were believed to be what the first class of organism to what adapt to life on the land. Okay? And of course, like I said, they were believed to have evolved from the amphibians because the amphibians would live on both land and water, all right? So they believe to have evolved from the amphibians many years ago, all right? So they are, of course, if you have, if you have seen a snake before, they, it, there's no, it's a creeping what organism, all right? It's a creeping and burrowing. You see, it's a creeping, creeping and what? And burrowing. Organism, all right, okay, that lives for what on the terrestrial what habitat, all right. The body of the snake is divided into we have the head, we have what the neck, we have what the trunk, we have what the tail, okay. So we have head, we have what neck, okay, we have what uh trunk, then we have what tail, okay. So the body of the what of the snake, all right, is divided or of reptiles rather divided into the head. The neck, the trunk, what, and the tail. And of course, respiration is by means of what? Of the lungs. So they use what? The lungs for what? For respiration. You must take note of that. They use the lungs for gaseous exchange. Okay? The, 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 the substance they use for gaseous exchange is the lung. Okay? So they use the lung for what? For respiration. That is L U N G S. Okay? And of course, there are about three subclasses of what? Of these reptiles. There are three major subclasses, and those subclasses include the Anapsida, Anapsida, we also have what? The Parapsida, and then we have the Diapsida, okay? These are the three what subclasses of what? Of the class what? Reptilia, all right? The Anapsida, the Parapsida, and the Diapsida. A lot of what this, uh, uh, so a lot of them, apart from this one, these are not the ones who are grouping them. There are so many other classes that have gone extinct, all right? But these ones are the major ones. So, like I said, uh, some of the characteristics of what? Of reptiles include that they are cold blooded, they are what we call clotemic, okay? That means they cannot really what regulate what. Their, what, their body what temperature, all right? The what regulates them, what it varies, their, temp their body temperature varies with the temperature of the what, of the environment. We've talked about that severally, all right? So then of course, reptiles have three chambered hearts. They have three chambered hearts, but of course there's an exception, except what alligators and crocodiles, okay? Alligators and crocodiles have four chambered hearts, okay? Generally, reptiles have three chambered hearts. But it is an exception because the crocodiles and what the alligators have what four chambered heart. You must take note of that. Then, of course, uh, the scales of reptiles is filled with keratin. Okay, so you know what keratin does, right? 
in your skin, okay, they help to what to, to control and protect what the, uh, the growth of what epithelial cells, okay. So what the uh, uh, keratin does or what for the for the reptiles is for what is waterproofing, okay. Because the scales of reptiles, the scales, all right, the scales of reptiles, the body of first of all, the body of reptiles, like the snake, for example, is very dry and rough, okay. The body is very dry and rough, all right. So they have what those scales to what to conserve water for them to protect the body of the snake from drying out, all right. So the inside, inside, inside our body, even their eggs, okay, that they lay, they have a very, very hard covering that have to protect their, their young ones so that what they can what stay in that what in that egg till the ash. All right. So that is what uh the purpose of what of what of the scales on the what on the reptiles is to help them to, to conserve water and the keratin so uh, on the on the uh, on the body of what of the scales and also on the scales of the reptiles is for waterproofing, for waterproofing. Waterproofing. Okay, so it basically what to what to protect what the skin, all right, of what of the of the reptile of the snake from what from drying out. And we say examples of examples of reptiles are the lizard, crocodiles, and the snakes and what etc. So I'm going to what is our time now to now look at the structure of a typical lizard. All right. So of a typical reptile that is a lizard. All right. So uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so the head is triangular in shape when looked at from what above. So I've seen a lizard from above. Ah, said so triangular head you get to. So remember that yeah, you tell somebody, a child that was born by a human being, that their head is triangular. And if you are wicked, all right? So the head is triangular what in shape when looked at from above. And of course, it has a pair of nosaries and also possesses what a nictating what membrane, all right? It has what, a pair of what? Of nosaries and also possesses a nictating membrane. And below the chin is a fold. The fold is what we call the gula fold. This one is an exam question. Is a typical exam question. Okay, the, below what the chin so what is a fold that we call what the gula fold, which is lowered during courtship. Lower during courtship. That means when in one do. Okay, when in one do, he will what lower what the gula fold. Okay, so it lowers the gula fold during what court, uh, courtship or when it wants to mate. All right, so that is the usefulness. Okay, so you may they may ask you. Uh, the lowering of the gola food is to what indicate what all right indicate courtship or what mate mating all right we're going to see from the, from the old school jamba very soon okay or when the animal is frightened all right so it lowers it when it wants to mate or when the animal is what is frightened also it's also how to call the nuka crest nuka crest Okay, that is why it raises when you have you have seen two lizards fighting before. That is one what they raise when they want to when they want, when they want to fight each other. So above the neck is a nuka crest, which the males raise when they fight against what each other. So these are what the uh, this is a typical what uh, uh, reptilia, and of course they also have what to call a uh, uh, anapod, which are found close to the vents. Okay, the, the lizard also have what ana what. Uh, uh, and a pad which are found close to the water to the vent. All right. So this, uh, this is just a typical what uh, rept a reptile. And then of course we have seen a lot about it. The next part now I'm going to do is to go to the Ottery School Jamba and pick some questions. Okay, on the what on the class reptilia and begin to what to answer them. All right. So uh, let's get the app. Let's get the app. So I'm um, with my phone. So, like I said, the Ultra School Jam app is all you need to succeed in your exam. All right, it's a CBT practice app, and your exam is a CBT exam. So that is why the more reason why you need to get this app on your phone. All right, so it has all the past questions for all subjects in one application. Aside that, it has a wonderful feature. Like of course, we have the classroom feature, like a normal classroom. There's lecture notes. You study lecture notes, then you take tests, and that classroom uh, feature we use the Jam syllabus to carefully what do the notes and do the test and the test the test questions are what are jam pass questions so you need to what <laughs> get on what on that classroom immediately all right of course we have the question search feature where well you can what search for question under a particular topic and all the questions that jamba set under that topic will come up for you to answer 
wonderful, right? And of course, we also have what the UTM challenge, a challenge that will conduct for all students that are participating in JAM for a particular year. So you compete with your mates every week, every Saturday. It's a mock challenge. Compete with your mates, you win prizes. Apart from winning prizes, you get to what? See your score release every Saturday. So you, you can know your, how prepared you are getting. So, for example, in the first challenge, if you score 200, in the next one, you score 250, you know that way you are progressing, all right? But if it's the other way around, you know how to what, study what harder. And of course, also, you will, of course, get used to how Jam said their question, which is very, very important. You need to understand how Jam said that question. We can see, we'll see from now on the past questions. And also, you must what? Activate the app after you have downloaded it. As at the time of talking to you, the activation fee is 3,000 right now, but it will increase definitely in the future. So please jump on the app, download it from Play Store. After downloading, click on activate. All right. Once you click on activate, you will see what uh, at the top, you see where they wrote buy activation key. That is where you see your three options for activating. You can use any of the word options to what to activate your app. You can make transfer. You can use your ATM card to pay online. That one is automatic activation. If you do not want to, if you do not want stress, that should be your safest bet. All right. But of course, if you are making transfer, just what send the receipt, the receipt or the payment. Just send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp 091 091 all right so once you make your payment to the hotel schools app account all right just what send what the receipts to this number all right and we will attend to you all right so please you do not have anything to be scared of not to let's come now let's let's look at the past question this is a 2023 question number 39 2023 number 39. So which of the following group of animals are classified as vertebrates? Okay. Are classified as as vertebrates. A, they say insects. Are insect vertebrates? No, they are not. Okay. B, they say reptiles. Are reptiles vertebrates? C, they say jellyfish. D, they say flatworms. Of course, our correct answer will be what would be reptiles because reptiles is a, what is a class on what under the word the vertebrate okay under the phylum word called data all right so you must take note of that now let's see another question this is 2007 question number 15. it said the in lizards in lizards okay the lowering of the gula fold that is below the chin okay is what is what is used to what a they say catch insects is lower than the gula for used to catch insects no i've told you that what it is to do it is to do so they say b attract mates they say c defend their territory d they say were frightening what uh enemies and the correct answer there is what is to attract what mates is for courtship i said here is for courtship to attract what mates okay it's for mating purposes all right so now 2004 number 36 said one adaptation of reptiles to water loss one adaptation of reptiles to water loss is presence of what a they say keratinous scales i told you that their skin is filled with what we keratin okay they have skills okay which are what uh this case of reptiles is filled with keratin so they have a keratinous scale then b they say claws on limbs and c they say long tails d they say long sticky tongue like i told you uh that's what the keratin, the presence of keratin when this case of course reptiles is to what is for waterproofing. I think I said this somewhere. All right, I wrote it somewhere. It's for water waterproofing. Okay, so it was to conserve water. All right. So the correct answer there will be what will be option what A. So you must take note of that. Likewise, let's see 1995, number 47. 1995, number 47. And they said, scales on reptiles are a future for Scales on reptiles are a feature for A, they say conserving water, B, they say conserving food, C, protecting the skin, D, locomotion. Okay, the major reason is what is for conserving what water. Okay, although this case or can also work, uh, protect, uh, protect the skin. Okay, but of course, it's basically what for conserving water. All right, so, um, that's uh, those are the questions we can take on this slide. There are thousands of other questions on the O3 School Jump app. Please like this video. Subscribe to this channel and keep watching sharing our videos. Download the Otero School Jump app and start practicing today. And I'll see you at the top. Thank you for watching.